Okay, so I've been kind of wanting to do this one for a little bit. Um, I've had a bottle of Blanton's for a while, but I only picked this up, this small batch um, Bowman, uh, Bowman Brothers, like a month ago. And I've had some of it just a little bit, like one real quick taste when I first got it, and then I had some about a week ago. Uh, the second time, I let it sit out longer. So I wasn't honestly the biggest fan of it the very first time I opened it. It was a little too cherry-y for me, but I had some about a week ago. I let it sit out and get some oxidation and get some air on it um, and was quite impressed by it actually. So this is $30 uh, in Oregon and this is $60 in Oregon. Obviously I realized that Blanton's is extremely expensive in many other states um, across the US and across the, across the world. It's you know highly allocated, hard to get, really sought after all this stuff. Um, in Oregon, if I can get them, they're about 60 bucks pop. So obviously both these are made by Buffalo Trace. They both are allegedly the same mash bill, though I cannot confirm that the small batch is the same mash bill as Blanton's, but I do know that the single barrel is the same mash bill, but they are very similar. It's either mash bill one or two. Um, I was unable to find definitively as to whether or not this was actually mash bill one, which is or sorry, mash bill two, which is what this is. So this is either mash bill one or two, which means the only real difference if it's mash bill one is that it is a slightly lower rye, but that's it. We're talking like the difference between 12 and 16% rye. So it's not uh, massive, but there is a slight difference. Both from Buffalo Trace, so um, very easy to find. I cannot find the single barrel in Oregon. Trying to find the single barrel in, in Oregon I'm finding it to be very challenging. I do want to do a head-to-head -head with Blanton's single barrel and the John J. Bowman single barrel, but at this point, I have not come across one yet. The only time I have even seen one uh, anywhere, it was about a four hour drive away from me and I was not gonna drive four hours to obtain that. So, as of today, I just have the small batch and then I have a few bottles of Blanton's. We're gonna start out with doing this one and then hopefully in the future, come back and do a side-by-side -side with the single barrel of the John J. Bowman and then the single barrel of Blanton's obviously. Okay, so to start out, I've mixed these up. I have A and B. I have the last five, six minutes just been moving these around on the table um, to confuse myself as to know which one it is. So I don't know which one is which. One is gonna be the small batch uh, from Bowman Brothers and one is gonna be the Blanton's single barrel. So let's see which one is gonna come out on top. $60 bottle MSRP, $30 bottle MSRP. Let's see which one wins. Okay, we're gonna start out with the glass to my right, your left over here. Um, I like the color. It's not super dark, like a coppery color to it. Um, also, both of these glasses have been sitting out for probably about 10 minutes at this point, so I'm hoping that helps open up this one since, like I said before, um, the last time I had this, I let it sit out for a little bit and open up was significantly better. So I'm trying to make this a little more even by letting them sit out and open up a little bit, get some of that um, ethanol off of them and open up the flavors. So the John Jay, or the Bowman Brothers is 90 proof and then uh, Blanton's is 93 point something, 93 proof, 90, 46 and a half uh, ABV. Um, this particular bottle was dumped on January 11th, 2023 in warehouse H, uh, came from barrel 601 on the, and was Rick number 38. So in case you have that bottle at home, you can do a side-by-side -side test, uh, taste testing with me and see which one you prefer. Um, obviously single barrels are gonna be different, but that's what this one is. Okay, again, don't know which one this is, Got a nice copper color to it and get the glass nice and coated. I've been trying lately to do more of this slow uh, coating of the glass to try to get a better aroma, um, get better nose of the glass, try to coat it just to get that nice, nice ability to, you know, tell the nose. I'm still relatively new to this. I've only been collecting and really like taking my time drinking bourbon um, or whiskey in general for the last 
I'm gonna say about six months since probably around October time last year. So still trying to develop my palette and get a little better at it. Okay. So I smell a little bit of cherry in there. Some vanilla, maybe some chocolate notes um, in there a little bit. Hmm, I get a little bit of, um, I get a little caramel there for a second. Okay, so pretty good nose. Okay, and then this one. So this is maybe a little bit lighter color. Yeah, slightly lighter color uh, on this one opposed to this one. Again, get this coat all over the glass. So I haven't even drinking that much of the Blantons, to be honest. I'm right about right here, right past this first top bit of the of the you know grenade looking bottle, right before the label um, starts is where I'm at. It's not one that I reach for a lot, so I'm not super exposed to it. Um, this is probably in total my like third glass, third pour out of it. Um, I've shared one or two pours with friends and family, um, just to have them try it, but don't, haven't had a lot of it. Getting very similar aromas, a little more vanilla, not as much cherry, which personally, I'm not the biggest fan of cherry. It is there, but it's more muted than um, this one is. It's more muted cherry. Um, more almost like, a, I don't want to say fresh cherry, but just a more muted cherry over like what this one's slightly more medicinal cherry kind of to it. Still getting some of that like chocolate aroma in there. This one's a little more vanilla. This one on my left, your right, is a little more vanilla smell. This one is slightly more cherry smell. So I'm gonna do a, a back and forth between the two and kind of see if I can pick out some differences. I get more oakiness and vanilla now with this one. Some like caramel, a little bit like brown sugar. I feel like it's opened up in just even the last minute or two. This is really hard. Honestly, both of these noses are very similar, um, which I would suspect if they were both Mashville twos. Kind of lean over this one just a little bit. It's just ever so slightly more pronounced on everything. This, this one um, is just slightly, very, very, very slightly more muted, but it is, it is very close. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of splitting hairs here. I would, this one I get, you know, a little bit more of all the, of all the aromas that's in here. They're just a little bit more open um, in this glass, just slightly. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a taste. We'll start with the glass to my right, uh, since that's one I started with on the nose. So, decent viscosity, very little uh, alcohol, very little burn. It sticks on your tongue just a little bit. You get a little bit of the spice um, on the on the palate after a swallow, um, but not, you know, it's a nice sipper. Um, it's not super punchy with uh, with the booze. Um, a little bit of viscosity, uh, I mean, obviously light 90 proof and 93 proof. I, I've had, this is a more uh, viscous mouthfeel than I would suspect from a 90 proof um, bourbon. A lot of the ones that I've had at 90 proof are like drinking water, honestly. Any, my personal preference for uh, proof point is 100 and up. Um, so I don't experiment a whole lot or drink a whole lot with 90 proof or under 100 proof bourbons. Um, so this one is a little more viscosity than I would expect in a 90 proof. So 
So I got a little bit more vanilla, a little more cherry on that second sip than I did the first sip. Uh, again, very easy drinker. Um, maybe a little bit more medicinal cherry um, than I am particularly fond of. Again, I'm not the biggest cherry fan. Maybe a little bit of chocolate in there too, just a small amount, not a lot. But I get one of the big flavors on the tip of the tongue that I get is, is vanilla. Um, but then as I finish it, I get much more of a medicinal cherry flavor, which again, I'm not the biggest fan of. Okay, so change it up. Let's do this one over here. I get some you know, vanilla on that. More of a light caramel, still some cherry there, but step down over this one. Vanilla, just a little bit of caramel, not a lot, maybe a little bit of like a light chocolate um, taste to it. The finish still has that cherry, but it is slightly less. I wouldn't say at a point in which I'm still super fond of. I'm, I'm not the biggest cherry person, um, but less so. So this one is slightly thinner. Um, over the palate, this one has just a little bit more thinness to it than this one does. So more cherry here. Um, I get now, now I actually smell more cherry on the nose than this one that I did previously. I'm gonna say, even though this one has a more pronounced cherry um, flavor to it, nose and flavor to it, I prefer this one over this one just because the viscosity of this one is a little better. So it's a little more enjoyable mouthfeel. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the cherry at the end, but it's not something that's completely off-putting for me. This one is a little thinner um, on the palate. So more or less everything that's in here is in this one. It's just turned down. You know, if this is at flavor-wise, this for me is at like a a six, uh, six out of 10 in flavor, um, not super complex. There's some cherry, some vanilla, a little bit of like caramel. That's about it. That's all, you know, that's the main things I'm getting. Like I said, maybe a little bit of chocolate in there, but nothing super crazy pronounced. Um, and then this one is all those same flavors, but if this is a six out of 10 in terms of flavor, this is like a five, maybe four and a half even. Um, so I, I'm gonna prefer this one. Okay, so now, the Blanton's is in glass B and the uh, Bowman Brothers is in glass A. So let's see what the winner is. It is B. You can see here, I don't know if that comes across. That's B. So on a head to head with the Bowman Brothers small batch and the Blanton's single barrel, Blanton's did take the win. I will say not by a crazy amount, um, but enough that I confidently would say that this, I would prefer this over this um, meat, especially. Okay, till next time, I'm Chris, this is Whiskey Pour. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, like it, share it, do whatever the hell you want, comment in it, tell me which you prefer, tell me which kind of Blantons you have, what does it cost in your area. I would love to hear um, what your thoughts are comparing these two. If you have both these bottles, give them a shot. If you don't have the Bowman Brothers, this is again, $30 MSRP. You can get this for not a lot of money. And if it's available in your area, I would recommend going out, buying this bottle and giving this a go. This is more or less a poor man's version of Blends. Um, more readily available, same if not, similar if not the exact same mash bill, same um, distillery uh, manufactures this. 
The only difference is this is finished off in Virginia, and so it is a Virginia whiskey, but other than that, same thing. So if you're looking for a good alternative to Blanton's, give Bowman Brothers a try. If you cannot find the single barrel, the small batch is a really good option. Mm -hmm.